Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! <coughs> no, Rory, don't go! I love you! I don't want to see you, Serena. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. We're clear to shoot. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Weiss. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Weiss. We're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Quiet. Floor ready? Check. Is the switcher ready? Check. Audio? Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. And action. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. Should I leave, Serena? Is that what you want? <coughs> Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed. Get my agent on the phone, now. Clear him out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for today. Stage crew, you're on standby till... Thank you for calling Suppressa Chocolates, where we make chocolates to die for. We're open every day from 8 to 5 and located on the corner of Sutton and Main. Listen, I need to get back to work. Do you need anything else? Uh, just the sound engineers and control room staff would have access to that equipment. We're very busy with production right now and we're no longer conducting tours. If you... Oh, hold on. No! Get someone else for that. We need to have someone on standby if he decides to leave. Sorry about that, Nancy. Any other questions? We've already looked into that incident with a teleprompter. Anyone from the stagehands to myself could have rigged it. No, not at all. She's always submitting scripts and story ideas to our writers, but they never go anywhere. Absolutely not. That code is to be used only for those who need it. That's confidential. That's confidential. But rest assured that we hire the best security, and Mr. Gardino comes highly recommended. He's my wife's cousin. Yes, Rick's very controlling like that. It took us weeks to renegotiate his contract. He had all of these detailed demands, like about lighting, script direction, the placement of his name in the credits. He's unbearable at times. Hold on a second. No, tell him I'll call him. Don't put him on hold, I'll call him. What else do you need, Nancy? Hello? We're looking into that. Listen, we run a studio down here, not a prison. Sometimes staffers borrow the security videos when they run out. We've addressed this problem before, and I can guarantee it won't happen again. Nope, that's confidential. Look, I'm not the studio psychologist. Rick's not the easiest guy to work with, neither am I. But then, I don't have people leaving me threatening letters in my office. Yeah, I remember him. I guess he's an old friend of Dwayne Powers who needed a job. Yes, but all of our employees, either temps or permanent, are highly qualified and come from the best agencies. We don't hire just anyone, and we carefully screen our employees. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't deal with Snoopy reporters. You can put me down for no comment. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. Now, is there anything else you need to ask of me? I'm in a bit of a hurry. The usual people, janitors, some assistants, Millie, security. Of course we do. We have a whole department set up for audio recording. And we also have some mixers in the control room. Well, in theory, it's the lead scriptwriter's job to manage that part of production. But a lot of actors, especially Maddie, like to edit their script to add emphasis or direction. Only our key talent and some of the floor managers have access. And of course, myself and Lillian. But we've often got projects going on around the clock. Post-production work and set design, to name a few. Only Rick and the security personnel. We've already checked into this. Rick is very touchy about his room and won't even let the janitors clean it unless he's there. Uh, we're currently working with the police on that. But there are no security cameras in the dressing rooms. That's impossible. This set has been closed down tight since that accident. I even hired extra security. My own mother couldn't have gotten in here. We definitely do not use explosives on our set. We use outside pyrotechnicians for location shoots. And of course, all of our technical crew are very knowledgeable about electronics. But I couldn't picture any of them making a bomb. Uh, no. 
I'm very busy at the moment. But seeing what you did today, I guess I owe you one. What do you need to know? What? Hey, ever since Rick started getting threats, we've taken every measure to ensure his safety. We've even hired more security after that accident in the studio. You're investigating the threats? What are you, some kind of reporter? What type of information? Nancy. Can I call you Nancy? I hate to be blunt about this, but we can't allow anyone to just walk into people's dressing rooms. Well, I believe you're very brave for what you've done. I can't help but wonder, though, what you were doing in Rick's room. Hello, Ms. Drew. This is Bill Pappas, the producer for Light of Our Love. I just wanted to thank you for your quick thinking and valiant efforts today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. I'm busy. Go away. There. Are you happy? I've already closed the set to visitors. I told you I'd get to the bottom of this. I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! We don't want any. Yes? It's about time you showed up. I've been waiting 45 minutes for that pizza. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. Oh, Rick. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker. Is that true? Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. Yeah! Way to go, Ralph! Get him out of here! We're gonna die! He's coming down! Look out! Hurry, Nancy! Cut! It's him! Up in the control room! And he's locked us in! Lillian, hide! Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's Pappas. But, but that prop master was always too sneaky for my taste. I always knew it was Maddie, that little witch! Dwayne Powers? But why on earth would he? I would never have thought it'd be Rick. You think it's me? Why? Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? You must know. You think you're so smart. Well, here it is. Proof positive. You see, I've been doing my own investigation. And I kept on finding more and more things until... Till I got a threatening letter yesterday. Oh, I'm not the resident maniac, if that's what you're thinking. In fact, I asked you here because... Because he's after me now. Yeah, well, I hope you can see through the act of whoever's sending these letters because I just got one. I see our Miss Snoop has shown up. Bye bye Be sure to close the door on your way out. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. You do that. Is that so? Well, I have every reason to kick you off this set. Where do you get off telling me what you think? I'll be calling your agent to let him know we no longer require your services. Get out of my office. Dwayne. It's Lillian Worldwide. I just heard Spader's leaving us. If you think... Oh? Okay. Mm-hmm. What? You're kidding. I need him for tomorrow's shoot. Are you sure? I gotta call Dwayne. Shut the door on your way out. No, I can't tell you something about Owen Spader. Why should I? It's none of your business. Oh, come on. Everyone knows how Rick dumped Maddie. Rick gave her some bogus story about needing his space to concentrate on his career. Yeah, he had to concentrate on ditching Maddie to date me. You know, I don't think Maddie ever got over it to tell you the truth. What business is it of hers if you date Rick or not? You know, she used to beg me not to go out with Rick. She was pathetic. If you ask me, she's totally lovesick with that guy. If you think Rick Arlen is anything like Rory Danner, you're in for a very unpleasant surprise. The guy is slime! He'll walk all over you like he walked over Maddie and me. Listen, if he bothers you anymore, let me know and I'll have a word with him. Yeah, well, that's ancient history. Just like it is between Rick and your friend Maddie. Listen, you don't know a thing about Rick and me. 
He used me to meet my friends from L.A. to try and schmooze his way into films. All along, I thought he really loved me, but he just walked all over me. <laughs> I think Rick's completely out of your league, but he'll flirt with any skirt. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? She's down the hall. But if you need something, ask a stagehand, okay? Oh, a word of warning. Old Millie isn't playing with a full deck. She actually owns WB, but for some reason, she spends her time running the prop room and setting up all the locks. Don't ask me why. If she can pay the bills, I don't care what she does. Well, well, well. I see our local hero has shown up for work. Not only can she waste everyone's time with prying questions, but she can find the time to save Rick from being blown to smithereens. It's you again. What do you want? Ugh, don't knock yourself out, kid. You'll be on standby until we know when and if we'll need you. Oh, please. Don't get your hopes up too high. It's not like you're working for commercial artists or Edison talent. We use Dwayne whenever we need someone right away, usually extras or gophers. If we really need talent, we call someone else. Ah, I see Maddie's friend is now working as an extra for us. So, are you trying to get discovered or are you just hard up for a job? Do I look like a tour guide? Look, the set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. May I help you? The door's open. Come on in, Nancy. I set up the guest bedroom for you upstairs. I set up the sofa bed for you. I hope it's not too uncomfortable. It's open. Come on in. Come in. It's open. Rory, I have to talk to you. Ah! Rick, watch out! Rick, watch out! Got it. Okay. No, your stage left. What's my motivation? I'm having trouble finding my motivation here. Okay, Lillian. Have we blocked this already? What's my cue? What page are we on? I've always loved you, even... I've always loved you, even when you didn't want me. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. Hi, Nancy. Okay. Please do whatever you need to do to find out what's going on. It's a talent entrance so we don't get mobbed by our fans. Sorry, Nancy. I can't give you the key code. Pappas wouldn't be very happy if he found out I gave it to you. I'm too upset to deal with this. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. Be careful, okay, Nancy? Break a leg. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. You know... There is. How could I have been so stupid? It's Yuri. It's got to be Yuri. Ever since I got on board about a year ago. Rick had been on the show already for one or two seasons, and the writers decided to make us a couple. You know, Yuri Danner, Rory's twin brother, was pretty upset with that. Do you think it could be him? I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke around here. You see, Rick's character has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. Actually, Rick and I are no longer dating. But come to think of it, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. Yuri Danner, Rick's twin brother. You mean off-screen or on-screen? You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no... No, I'm pretty good at names, but I've never heard of him. Oh, Pappas is gonna kill me if I give it out. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to give you the code. After all, it is for a good cause. Hmm. It was just changed because of the weird things going down. Let me think. Okay, it's two, four, eight, one. No, only stagehands and crew know. You may want to ask Lillian for it. <laughs> On second thought, she probably won't give it to you. How do you know this? Wait, I don't want to know. Yes, Dwayne's been having money troubles for a while, but... I don't see what this has to do with your investigation. Nancy, Dwayne's my friend. He once helped me out and now I'm returning the favor. What can I say? I do worry about him. He just doesn't understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> he's just trying to be charming. He went to France for a week and now all of a sudden he's fluent. <laughs> I did. Oh, he's just a pussycat. But I told you he's a flirt. No way. Lillian's too smart for that. I think she just wants to make people feel miserable for her loss. It's just her personality. Rick's not like that. At least he wasn't with me. Everyone has this idea that he dumped me, but it wasn't at all like that. 
he had a lot of trouble dealing with the pressures of his career and a relationship at the same time. We saw it happening and agreed to split up. Rick's a wonderful guy. I have no regrets. <sighs> to tell you the truth, I'm still in love with him. But I need to realize that we're through and move on. I understand that. I just thought you could have been a bit more considerate. I guess those letters did look pretty mysterious if you didn't know what was in them. And to tell you the truth, I guess they look pretty silly now that you've read them. But I'll miss Rick terribly if he leaves the show. Well, I wanted Rick to stay with the show, so I sent him fake fan letters telling him how great he was as Rory. I guess it was pretty silly, but I'll miss him if he leaves. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it dating, but he's always been a dear friend. Hey, I gotta get to wardrobe for a fitting. Make yourself at home. Yeah, Rick had been after Lillian for a while, pretty much to meet her film friends from out west. I warned her about Rick, but she didn't listen. Now she bears a grudge against me. They are the roses from French monsieur who I do not know. He is très, how do you say, bon, no? I guess the light of our love plays up in France or something. Aren't they gorgeous, though? Well, Rick wasn't very satisfied with Dwayne's handling of his contract with Worldwide. And now... <laughs> Not for Dwayne. He's like a chameleon. He can fill any role. At the Belfry, he did everything. It was amazing. Sales, makeup, carpentry, acting. But I sometimes wonder if he's cut out to be an agent. Rick is pressuring me to use another talent agent, one that can get me a movie contract and a better deal here. Sometimes I wonder if it'd be a smart move. It's just that I feel loyal to Dwayne. Actually, the feeling's mutual. Dwayne was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency, I guess to help him get out of his contract here. Actually, he and I were struggling actors, doing summer stock, community theater. I went on to do Juliet with Rick, and Dwayne came to the city to start his own talent agency. I guess he'd had enough of the acting scene. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. This is it. Nancy, you must get to the bottom of this. Rick's life is in danger. Please do whatever you need to do to find out what's going on. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get to makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. Didn't you know? Rick's getting a lot of movie offers these days. His agent is trying to get him out of his contract here. He's talented, handsome, and rich. Some people would hate him just for that. But Rick wouldn't hurt a fly. I have no idea why someone's trying to scare him with these threats. Hmm, where should I start? Well, I've known Rick since I started acting. Well, after I got my big break with the touring production of Romeo and Juliet. We both played the leads. I guess it gave us good practice for the parts of Rory and Serena. Pappas is our producer. He's all bark and no bite. Sometimes I think his only job is to yell at us. I guess he's upset at Rick's leaving the show. Hi, Nancy. We need to talk. I found out you took my keys to get into my desk. How could you? I know you need to investigate and everything, but... I thought we were friends. I thought you could trust me. Nancy, we need to talk. I found out you took my keys to get into my desk. How could you? I know you need to investigate and everything, but I thought we were friends. I thought you could trust me. Hi, Nancy. Have you found out anything new? Oh, Nancy, I'm so glad that you're okay. Everyone's been talking about that bomb scare. Rick's still shrugging it off, but I can tell he's upset about it. Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. Have you found anything out yet? Oh, Nancy, this is horrible. There's no way that could have been an accident. I think it's another attempt to get Rick. The timing's just too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage. Hey, Nancy, glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Yeah, Lillian's pretty cranky these days. Wait a minute. I've got an idea on how you can get back into the studio. No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Oh, I've gotten some odd ones here and there, but nothing like what Rick has been getting. In fact, yes, it can be all that bad. If Rick leaves the show, Light of Our Love could be in a lot of trouble. Everyone's worried that the show could get cancelled. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. 
I'll tell them you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. Just tell them you're an aspiring actress who I've taken under my wing. Dwayne Powers. We've been friends for years. You know, my agent could get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. There's got to be a way to get you back in the studio. Whoever's leaving these threats for Rick also has access to the studio. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Well, I was reading the teleprompter during a scene with Rick. All of a sudden, my lines read, You're going to die a horrible death, Rick. At the time, we all thought it was some sick joke, but nobody admitted to doing it. Someone sent him a broken watch with the hands at five minutes to midnight and a note saying, Time's running out. That one really freaked me out. Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poisoned chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Well, for the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. At first, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. With 5 a.m. shoots, a million lines to learn, people all uptight and yelling. And now Rick's getting these death threats. Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. What kind of studio are you running here? My client could have been killed. I told you I'd get to the bottom of this. I've already closed the set to visitors. It's open! What is full of holes but holds water? What is greater than God? More evil than the devil? The poor have it. The rich need it. And if you eat it, you'll die. What has four fingers and a thumb, but is not alive? The more you make, the more you leave behind. Give it air, and it will live. Give it water, and it will die. What has a head and tail, but no body? What has teeth? but can't eat. Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. Oh, that was pretty easy. Let's try another one. Oh, that's not it. Uh, try again. Come back soon. Don't take any wooden nickels, young lady. Have a good day. Goodbye, my dear. Good luck finding him. I've yet to meet him face to face, even though he signs out props all of the time. What do I need free time for? Do I look like I need to retire? I don't know about those computers and all of those hackers coughing up all over the place. They told me to keep my, what do you call it, uh, the tree branch, uh, the log hotel, in a safe place. Uh, so I put it where a log belongs. Now that I think of it, perhaps I should get a computer. After all, they've given me a, what do you call it, a tree trunk, a, a loge in. For the past couple of weeks, that typewriter's been nothing but trouble. It's taken on a mind of its own, typing its own letters and such. Young lady, what do you know about typewriters? There's nothing like the sound of the metal hitting paper as you peck, peck, peck at the keys when you're writing a new script. Peck, peck, peck makes me feel like a chicken sometimes. Peck, peck. Who? Rick Arlen? I've never heard of him. You don't mean Rory Danner, do you, dear? He is a no-good, good-for-nothing, do-nothing, if you ask me. Oh, he's been a troublemaker ever since he's got here. What that man needs is a good, swift kick and a you-know-what. 
causing poor Serena all that grief with his scampering around. Uh, Dwayne Powers, uh, Dwayne Powers, mm. where have I heard that name? Oh, yes, now I remember. He was that young man who did that fine performance in A Courier's Tragedy. I'll speak with Lillian about hiring him. A superb actor, really. What? I don't fear anyone. They've got more reason to fear Milly Strathorn. Yes, sir, Bob, but don't be afraid of Mr. Pappas. He's a very nice gentleman from Baltimore, I believe. It's Rory Dunner that should fear Pappas, especially if Rory ends up leaving Serena. Oh, yes, Ms. Wise is very talented, but I think she's wasting it here. She belongs out west, making those artsy films all of you young people are doing these days. I think she and Yuri were making a film of some kind. Whatever you say. Okay, don't think that just because I've been around the soundstage a couple of times, I don't know what's going on in my company. There's more to me than meets the eye, my dear. No, I mean Rory Danner, young lady. Yuri is Rory's evil twin. He's always trying to bump off Rory. With his brother out of the way, Yuri thinks he'll have a clear shot at Serena. I've been trying to help him ever since Rory showed up in Jackson's Wharf. That Rory Danner needs to be taught a lesson. Why, hello. I hear you've become quite the celebrity, saving Rory Danner from those diabolical traps set by that cold-blooded scoundrel, Yuri. Thank goodness you had my wire cutters, else you would have been blown all the way to Bakersfield. Hello, young lady. That's it. I have stumped many people with my riddles, but you are quite the sleuth. You may go and enter the prop room now, while I go and unpowder my nose. I see you've come back to try and solve my riddle. It's more difficult than you thought, huh? Now, listen carefully. Come back when you found the answer. Good day, my dear. My, what nice penmanship. Uh, but that's not the answer I'm looking for. Nope. Try again. Hush! Don't say the answer. Everyone will hear you. Kindly write the answer on this slip of paper, and I'll tell you if you're correct. Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? I run all day and never walk. I tell you something, but I do not talk. What am I? When you look at my face, it's easy to see. You're looking at you when you're looking at me. What am I? I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen to my riddle, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. Yes, my dear. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. Hello there. Oh, are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room, except for those people permitted in the prop room. Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed. Get my agent on the phone, now. <coughs> no, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. We're clear to shoot. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Weiss. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Weiss, we're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Quiet. Floor ready? Check. Is the switcher ready? Check. Audio? Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. And action. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. Should I leave, Serena? Is that what you want? 
Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! Clear him out, everybody! Looks like that's a wrap for today. Stage crew, you're on standby till further... Thank you for calling Suppressa Chocolates, where we make chocolates to die for. We're open every day from 8 to 5 and located on the corner of Sutton and Main. Hurry home and be careful. Bye, Nancy. I miss you too. Goodbye. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. So, what else can I help you out with? Okay, I think it's me who's letting you down. Nancy, I love you, but I'm just worried about you. I really miss you, but I know a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I know, I, I know. It's just... I, I miss you, and I'm worried about you, you know? What about letting me down? It sounds like things have gotten way out of control. And then what happened? Nancy, I know you can get that combination, but no one will give it to you without a good reason. I bet there's another way in. Maybe there's a side entrance. My girlfriend, the soap opera star. Now you'll never come back home. Hmm. I bet if you contact some of Dwayne's other employees, they might have some information related to the case. That is strange. But remember, this is just circumstantial evidence. It might not be the prop master who's typing these letters. Hmm. Sounds like two different MOs. But what a clue! Now if you can only find the typewriter that drops its Y. Do you have any other information on this guy? Maybe there's an employee file for him at the studio. If it's locked, it must be important. She may want you to answer some kind of puzzle to get in. But maybe there's another way to get past the gate. You'll find a way. Probably something the police couldn't hear. Maybe there's a way you could change the speed of that voice or something. You might recognize it then. Why would he do that? But maybe there's something you're seeing that I'm not. Yes, I'm jealous that my girl is spending more time with this guy than with me. But as long as you still love me, I'm here for you. <laughs> Sorry, Nancy. That's your department. I'm the one who tackles the bad guy, remember? What's his name? Rick? Have you tried to find out where these objects are coming from? That might lead you to your culprit. Huh, that's odd. Maybe there's more to the threats than he's saying. There might be some information in them that he doesn't want you to know about. I'm not sure I like you jet-setting across the country meeting all of these Enrico Suaves. So, are these threats he's been getting serious? Hi! How's it going? So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Uh-oh, well... I hate to tell you this, but the guys on the team all shaved their heads in. I just got a tooth knocked out last week in practice. But I know you'll still love me. You're so sweet. Strange, but sweet. Even if I'm bald and wearing dentures? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. Hello? Guess what? Maddie helped me land a job as an extra through her agent, Dwayne. I guess he places a lot of actors. Hello? Hi, it's me! Hello? Guess who? Hello? Open up in there! Open up! Open the override lock! Stop! Hey, you! Hey! Open the override lock! Open the override lock! Open up! Ah, shut up! You got the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You had the right to an attorney. Open up in there. Get down on the floor. Freeze! Now! Get your hands behind your head. Get down on the ground. Drop that gun. Drop it. You, with a gun. Freeze! What's going on in here? Let's take a trip down to the station. Come with me, young lady. I believe the police would like a word with you. Where's the fire? Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. You've just landed the part of a jailboy down at the station. Well, no more snooping around for you, young lady. You must be the one behind all these shenanigans. I got three words for you, pal. Adios! Time for you to move on out of here. There you go. Here you go, buddy. Stop your squawking. Stop your squirming. 
I knew there was something suspicious about you. Okay, pal, that's it. The jig's up. This game's over for you, pal. Forget about it. What's going on in here? And as for you, young lady, good work, Nancy. This is the guy we've been looking for. That'll teach you for playing with a fire alarm. You've solved the case. Congratulations, Nancy. Ah, <laughs> caught you. Thank you, and uh, good luck. And I'll need to see you pass every time you enter the studio. Have a nice day. Miss, you'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. Good work with that bomb. But in the future, leave that sort of work to me. Hello there, Ms. Drew. That was a fine job you did with that bomb. I'll need to keep a closer eye on you in the future just so that you don't find yourself in another dangerous situation. Can I help you? Entre vous? Well, let's just say it was love at first sight. Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. Oh, <laughs> no. Not while I'm with the WWB Network. Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Ciao, bella. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Farewell, my lady. Okay, Nancy. You got me. I started all of this by sending myself those ransom-style notes. But I had nothing to do with everything else that followed. You gotta believe me. I just did this to get some publicity, not kill myself. Yeah, right. Prove it. <laughs> Whoa, you got me there. Can we uh, rewind this and try this one again? Yeah, yeah, I know Owen. He was with the uh, Beekman Theater, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of short and stocky. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're seeing him. <laughs> don't break my heart, love. Old Millie Strathorn! Heir to the worldwide broadcasting fortune. She's great, except for the fact that she's never liked me. She thinks I'm too big for my britches, and that I wouldn't know a good thing if it came up to me and stuck its finger in my nose. Nah, Millie hates me. Did I tell you she's been trying to write me out of the show ever since I got on board? I don't know why. Luckily, owning the company doesn't mean you can work as script writer. I know, I've got this bad reputation as being some kind of Casanova, but everyone's got a second chance, you know? I just wish sometimes I could go back in time, just wake up and find it was just a dream and start all over. I wouldn't be known as Rick the Slick then. Oh, come on. Everyone knows about Maddie and me. The perfect match made in soap opera land. It was too weird dating her and playing the role on stage. I just had to figure out what was real and what was just an act, you know? I sometimes think if I can only get out of being Rory Danner, Maybe she can get out of being Serena Livingston. Afterwards, it was a rebound relationship. Lillian got to show me around to her friends as her trophy win. <laughs> and it was fun. For a while. Lillian's a nobody. She was always after me, and things were breaking up between Maddie and me. It was just a rebound romance. Okay, I admit it. Lillian and I had a brief fling. But my heart's true to you, love. <laughs> Whatever anyone's saying, I can guarantee that it's all wrong. I swear. I'm just misunderstood, that's all. I'll give my agent a call. He can direct you to a decent agent in your league. And just do me a favor and stay away from Dwayne. He's the kiss of death for an actor. Yes, he did. A very long time ago. I was young and naive, just like you, love. I made a mistake. Something you can't afford to do at this point in your career. Yeah, and that's a problem. Maddie hangs on to Dwayne like my Aunt Mimi hangs on to cats and old newspapers. Dwayne's a loser, babe. Don't tell me he's representing you. Listen, I need to take care of something, but uh, feel free to stick around. Will you do me a favor, though? Hello, Miss Drew. I see you can't get enough of me. Do I drive you wild? Right, I forgot. You're celebrating your 70th birthday next month? Oh, <laughs> you are so sassy. But that's what I love about you. Sassy. No, but I'm willing to take your application for the job. Right. Isn't it filmed at Paseo del Mar? That's where you're from, right? Yes, I have. They're named Agent Harris, Officer Josewitz, and Detective Bonnet. It appears I've been quite a celebrity with the local authorities. Hey, I hear Detective Beach is looking for a new star. Do you think I should do some research with my new friends to land the part? My hero, Nancy Drew. You know, according to ancient tradition, if someone saves your life, you should serve them for the rest of your life. So, what can I do for you, young lady? Your wish is my command. Nothing, but she's got her priorities all mixed up. 
What she should be concerned with is how Powers is driving her career into the ground. Don't I know it. She's been driving me crazy worrying about me and these wacky letters I've been getting. Touché! So, you're an old friend of Maddie's. She told me you were coming up to visit. She said you find me irresistible. Stay beautiful. Okay, while I go to makeup, stay here, get all cozy, and... Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well, mi casa es su casa. You know, my house is your house. Well, feel free to examine the evidence, Miss Drew, while I go off the wardrobe. Have a chocolate while you're at it. Admit it. You find me irresistible, don't you, Nancy? Poison chocolates? <laughs> oh, dear. Maddie's really gone over the top with this. They were just a bad batch, that's all. Look, if you dare me, I'll eat one. But if we're gonna play that game, I'd prefer another dare. So, how about it, Nancy? Truth or dare? Oh, please. If a public figure like me went to the police every time someone sent them a nasty gram, the donut shops would lose their best customers. I can think of millions. All those jealous husbands and boyfriends of the women who send me marriage proposals, <laughs> cookies, and other notes d'amour. I see Maddie's been talking to you about me. Of course it was just an accident. Things like this just happen. Of course, of course I am. I was lucky. If you're gonna be in an accident, that's the best way to be, don't you agree? But then I've always been a lucky guy. I just met you, Miss Drew. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? I need something to make this work. Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. You'll never guess what I found in Lillian's office. A bottle of castor oil. Lillian must have been the one who sent Rick those threats. I found a bottle of castor oil and the number for a chocolate shop in her drawer. I finally found that surveillance tape. It looked like a stagehand leaving the studio and then Dwayne Powers coming in a few minutes later. I finally found that surveillance tape. It looked like Owen Spader leaving the studio and then Dwayne Powers coming in a few minutes later. I really need to get into Dwayne's office. I need to find more information on this Owen Spader guy. Do you think I should sneak into Dwayne's office? Dwayne's agency is not doing so well. I found all of these outstanding bills. I also found several checks that Maddie wrote to Dwayne. Lillian just called me. She wants me to meet her at the studio. Do you think I should go? I found a copy of Maddie's keys in her dressing room. I wonder if one of them opens her desk drawer in her apartment. What do you mean? <laughs> do you really think so? Talk to you later. Thanks, Maddie. I really appreciate your help. Well, I should get some sleep. Good night. Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later. Nancy, dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course, I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now, Nancy. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later. Nancy, dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. 
Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course, I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now, Nancy. Yeah. Hello, Rick? Hello, Rick? Hello, Rick? Rick? You in there? You know, it just might be Rick who's behind these threats. Let's see, there's this odd woman who's the prop master. Maddie is really nice, but I can't rule her out. The producer doesn't exactly like Rick, but I've yet to meet him in person. There's the director, Lillian Weiss, who's not a very happy camper. My agent, Dwayne Powers, is pretty cool, but let's just say he's not one of Rick's number one fans. Maybe it's a cover-up, and he's trying to blame someone else. It could be a publicity. Publicity stunt, no. I'm convinced it's an inside job. <laughs> Maddie joked about it being Yuri behind all of these threats. Maybe Rick has an evil twin in real life, too. Why does she work in the prop room if she owns the place? Why doesn't she like Rick? Gosh, that is sad. Hmm, but why doesn't she like Rick? Did they ever find the guy? I don't think so, Bess. Real life isn't a soap opera, you know. She seems evasive at times. Lillian and Rick dated? How long were they a couple? He's Maddie's agent and her good friend. He pulled some strings so I could work as an extra to continue with my investigation. Really? I thought you would have heard of him. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. You'll never guess what happened. Hi, it's Nancy. I need some advice. How could I get into Lillian's office? Rick's life is at stake. I know it's wrong, but someone's life is at risk. There's a madman loose. That's right. I need to get into Lillian's office at night. I think there's more to her than meets the eye. I got into Lillian's office. Now I need to find an access code to the system computers. If only I could find the password into the control room. I can't get the security log to print. I can't get the employee log to print. You'll never guess what I found in Lillian's office. A bottle of castor oil. Lillian must have been the one who sent Rick those threats. I found a bottle of castor oil and the number for a chocolate shop in her drawer. Lillian just kicked me off the set. Do you think I should confront her with this evidence? What should I do? I found the sound mixer, but I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I heard a sound on the tape. It sounds like a boat horn. If only I could find a surveillance video. I finally found that surveillance tape. It looked like Owen Spader leaving the studio and then Dwayne Powers coming in a few minutes later. A stagehand leaving the studio and then Dwayne Powers coming in a few minutes later. The surveillance tape was shot around the same time the Klieg light fell. I found an employee badge for an Owen Spader in the Lost and Found. Owen Spader is a stagehand working for the Powers Agency. I found Millie's computer login. I found this clock hand in the prop room. Millie was hiding it. There's a trap door control box in the studio, but I can't open it. I'm trying to open the trap door, but I can't find the power switch. I think I opened opened a trap door, but I can't find it. I really need to get into Dwayne's office. I need to find more information on this Owen Spader guy. Do you think I should sneak into Dwayne's office? Dwayne's office building is locked all of the time. I can't get into Dwayne's office. I can't get into Dwayne's briefcase. Dwayne's agency is not doing so well. I found all of these outstanding bills. I also found several checks that Maddie wrote to Dwayne. If only I could get into Dwayne's locked file cabinet. I found out that Owen Spader works as a stagehand. I found out that Owen Spader worked at the same theater where Dwayne and Maddie met. I found out that Owen Spader worked at the theater where Dwayne, Maddie, and Rick worked a couple of years ago. Maddie's mom is really pressuring her to be the star of the show. I found out that the stationery Maddie uses is also used on some of those letters Rick has been getting. Oh, Bess, this is awful. I just got a phony bomb threat in the mail. Someone threatened 
threatened me on the phone. It's the same electronic voice on the bomb tape. Lillian just called me. She wants me to meet her at the studio. I found a copy of Maddie's keys in her dressing room. I wonder if one of them opens her desk drawer in her apartment. I took Maddie's keys. Do you think I should open her desk drawer? I found some old letters from her and Rick. They were really in love. Do you think I should go? I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. I need your help. Do you got a minute? I'm stumped. Can you give me some advice? I'll be happy to meet with your assistant if you're too busy. I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. She told me you might be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Well, I'm just starting out in the acting business. I hope my lack of experience won't hurt my chances of getting a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. How long have you known Maddie? You're Rick Arlen's agent? You and Maddie must be very good friends. I think Rick was in more danger than Maddie. Thank you, but it was nothing really. That's a pretty harsh statement. Are you jealous of Rick? Why doesn't she like Rick? Why doesn't she like Maddie? What should I do about this? Can I get a pass that lets me get into the studio during the night? I seem to have lost my wallet at the studio. Has anyone turned it into you? How can I get into the lost and found area of the studio? What did she lose? Perhaps I can find it for her. I'm afraid I've upset Lillian. Did she call about terminating my employment with the studio? Hi, Mr. Powers. It's Nancy Drew. What are your suspicions? Do you have many employees working for you at Worldwide? Do you know where I can find this stagehand? I haven't seen him around. Is Maddie thinking of going into films? Would she need another agent to do this? I think you're right. Maddie does feel loyal to you. Why would Rick do that? What do you make of these threats against Rick? Maddie's very concerned about them. The producer seems pretty upset lately. He's always yelling. Well, I should get back to the set. Thanks for your help. Why on earth does she work if she owns the studio? How does he enjoy creating trouble? What makes you so sure it's about Rick? Do you know how I can get into the control room at the studio? Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you. About a job as an extra? Dwayne, why? Why do you hate Rick so much? Maddie and Lillian have more reason to hate him than you do. Dwayne, this isn't a soap opera. You're dealing with real people. So, you were behind this campaign of terror all along? How did you pull this off? Dwayne, don't do anything you'll regret. There's still time to let us go. Maddie still cares for you. You're making a big mistake. Dwayne, there's still time to let us go. Please, don't do this. No, Dwayne, don't. Please, don't. No. No! Yes. Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Hi, I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Is there a pass here for Nancy Drew? Hello, here's my pass. Thank you. Is there any way I can get backstage without a pass? I didn't think so. No, I'm just looking. No, thank you. Just looking. Hi, George. It's Nancy. I'm in New York right now on another case. Get this. Rick Arlen from Light of Our Love is getting these scary death threats. That case is solved. You're not going to believe this, but I'm now in New York on another case. Where is Bess anyway? I'll need her soap opera expertise for this case. Well, I have met Maddie Jensen. In fact, I'm staying with her. She's a friend of Aunt Eloise. Not that I can think of right now, but I'll get back to you. See you, George. She's nice, but I never get to see her because she's so busy. So... What's new with you these days? I wouldn't call her temperamental, but she is very upset about these threats. Not much, but I'll call you when I find out more. Bye, George. <laughs> Stop teasing, George. Nothing as exciting as a haunting, but something a bit more serious. Someone is sending death threats to the soap star Rick Arlen. I wish it were only a ghost or two, but it's a lot more serious. Get this. Rick Arlen from Light of Our Love is getting death threats. I'm not sure what I should do next. Hi, George. Maddie got me a visitor's pass, but I don't see it anywhere. Is Bess back yet? I wonder how I can get into the sound stage. Rick was almost killed by a falling Klieg light. I'm officially an extra on the set, but there's not much to do. Are you any good at riddles? I found a pair of wire cutters. He's okay, but it barely missed him. It appears to be an accident but they've closed off the set. I'm certain that it was. I found a light clamp on stage that looks as if it had been sawed through. Yes, hi, I'm a friend of Maddie's and I'm, I'm a bit lost. Can you please direct me to Maddie Jensen's room? I'm working with Dwayne Powers Agency. 
I heard he's a really good agent. I'm just excited to start working with an experienced crew. You know, it's so much different than community theater. Oh, I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. I wonder if you could tell me where I could find the prop master? I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. Can I ask your advice on something? Rick's really been flirty with me. Should I take him seriously? <laughs> well, if you were good enough for him, then why shouldn't I be? <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry. I didn't realize he did that. What do you mean between Rick and Maddie? You dated him, right? It must have been exciting to date a star. Maddie warned me about Rick, too. How did he walk over Maddie? Well, can you tell me something about Owen Spader? I just spoke with Owen Spader. He said he's thinking of leaving the show. Lillian, I have reason to believe you're the one threatening Rick. I know for a fact you sent him those chocolates. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Lillian, I think you should leave your act to professionals. I can see right through you. Why did you ask me to come here? Can I see it? Do you still have it? Right. How am I supposed to believe that? It was you, Lillian. I believe it was Rick himself. It has to be Dwayne. Do the math, Lillian. It was Maddie. Without a doubt, the prop master is behind it all. Pappas had every reason to do this to Rick. It was obvious you sent Rick those tampered chocolates. I found the bottle of castor oil and the number of the chocolate shop in your office. You had every opportunity to lay those traps for him. Rick used you, and you wanted revenge. Your hate for Rick knew no bounds. You couldn't bear the thought of him leaving you, so you taunted him with those threats and set out to destroy him. Yes, with Rick out of the way, she wouldn't have to share top billing with him. Maddie stops at nothing to get her way. Not even murder. Maddie had been sending Rick those letters to force him off the show. She used an old boyfriend, Owen Spader, to set up those traps for Rick and used me to throw suspicion off herself. You're so right, Lillian. Her insane desire for control in this studio hit a blank wall when Rick refused to stay with Light of Our Love. Yes, she sure plays the role of prop master very well. Prop master of death. Old Millie couldn't write Rick out of the script, so she tried to do it in real life. Unfortunately, her broken old typewriter gave her away. That's because your hatred for him blinded you to the obvious. Rick pulled off this stunt to drum up publicity for his big move to Hollywood. It's so reckless, so dangerous, and so pathetic. Once I came into the picture, Rick realized I'd see through his phony letter-writing campaign. His ego could never bear the thought of being caught red-handed, so he set out to force me off the case, even if it meant murder. With his intense hate of Rick, doomed financial situation, and that clever disguise as Owen Spader, Dwayne had every motive and opportunity to commit these threats and traps. Dwayne is a very dangerous individual ready to risk lives to accomplish his deadly campaign against Rick. Once we catch him in the act, the safer we'll all be. Yes, Lillian, it was Pappas all along. Behind that impenetrable office door, he was busy at work creating a web of mystery and intrigue. No one breaks a contract with Pappas. He'll kill Rick before Rick runs out on him. Pappas calls the shots in this studio, but he couldn't bear to be overshadowed by Rick's popularity and demands. It's always nice to come back to the Big Apple, and now I get to stay with a famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Aunt Eloise told me that someone on the set is getting death threats. But it can't be all that bad being a star, can it? Weird. Have you ever received an odd letter? Tell me about the letters. Someone sent him poison chocolates? What was the broken watch about? So what happened with the teleprompter? Did Rick go to the police? Well, tell me about the death threats. Well, I should get some sleep. Thanks, Maddie. I really appreciate your help. Good night. That'd help me get past Lillian and hopefully to the bottom of these threats against Rick. Would you do that? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Maddie. Well, I'm sure you've got to rehearse for tomorrow. Well, I'm sure you've got to rehearse for tomorrow. I'm glad that your secret isn't as sinister as I thought it may have been. Well, I should get back to the studio. Don't give up hope, Maddie. And don't worry. I'll get to the bottom of this. Maddie, I also know that you've been supporting Dwayne. I know his business is failing. I understand. But now that the studio is closed to visitors, I'm at a dead end. I just ran into Lillian, and she kicked me out of the studio. Really? Who is your agent? That sounds great. 
But what should I say if they ask about you and me? Can you tell me more about Rick? So how long have you been a couple? I'm sorry. I meant, how long have Serena and Rory been a couple? Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Can you tell me why someone would want to send these threats to Rick? Well, someone is. Think, Maddie. There's got to be an obvious suspect. No, not yet. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me apart, just like that. I just hope that I'll have enough time to investigate. I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. That's a pretty big leap from acting to being a talent agent. What do you mean? Has he been an agent for a long time? Oh, Maddie, I'm sorry. But I had to find out what was in those letters you've been sending to Rick. And why so many? Sorry, Maddie. It's important that I follow all of my leads. Even this one. Tell me, who is the producer of the show? I just passed his office, and he sure sounds angry. Really? Rick's leaving the show? Maddie, I think your suspicions are right. I believe the stage light that fell had been tampered with. Those roses are very beautiful. Who are they from? Did Lillian and Rick date after you both broke up? Rick's pretty good at loving and leaving them. What a loser. Do you think this could have pushed Lillian to send him these threats? Maddie, who is that side entrance for? Do you think I could get the combination? You know, I didn't realize that you and Dwayne had once dated. I just had the pleasure of meeting with Rick. He is so obnoxious. Why didn't you warn me about him? So what's with his little foreign phrases? Is he for real? He thinks you worry over him too much. Maddie, I know that you've been supporting Dwayne. I know his business is failing. Do you know what the code is for the control room? Maddie, I really need to get in here after hours. Whoever is threatening Rick may be doing their work at night. Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Guess who? Hi, it's me. That's okay. I'll still love you. I'll hurry back to you. But first, I've got another case to solve. Of course, Ned. Even if you're toothless and hairless. No way. Well, I'm getting along so far. I finally met THE Rick Arlen. That man has an ego the size of Texas. He's worse than Daryl Gray. The threats are, but Rick's not. He's pretty nonchalant about them. Yes, and he's not only getting letters, but tainted chocolates, broken watches. Ned, are you very good at riddles? <laughs> no, Rick's not the bad guy. Do I detect a twinge of jealousy? Come to think of it, I wonder if that is his name. Do you think Rick could be sending himself death threats? What do you think I should look for on that death threat tape? There's a locked area of the prop room. I wonder what the prop master is hiding there. I got into the locked area of the prop room and found an employee ID for one of Dwayne's contract workers, Owen Spader. Guess what? I gotta look at the letters Rick has been getting. Some of them have the letters cut out of magazines and some of them are typewritten. But get this, the Y is dropped on the typewritten letters. Guess what? Maddie helped me land a job as an extra through her agent, Dwayne. I guess he places a lot of actors. I'd like to get into the studio at night, but it's locked. Any ideas? I found a side entrance to the studio, but there's a keypad lock on it. It was pretty scary for a minute there. It was pretty scary for a minute there. And then what happened? Once I defused the bomb and got out of there, I called the police and I was stuck at the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a copy of the tape. Once I defused the bomb and got out of there, I called the police and I was stuck at the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a copy of the tape. I wish I could. But I'm in too deep already. That's not fair, Ned. You know I love you and wouldn't do anything to hurt you. How am I letting you down? Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Uh, this case is getting stranger by the minute. Now I found out that the prop master has a typewriter. And you know what? The Ys on her machine are dropped. Ned, you know I can't. I've got to get to the bottom of this. I can't let Maddie and Rick down. I think that's it for now.
I miss you. Thank you, Mr. Pappas, but it was nothing really. Yes, I was. They needed a statement from me. I found that it was open and let myself in. I'm investigating the threats against him and wanted to know why his door wasn't locked. Perhaps you should enforce better security then. I was only trying to help. It seemed suspicious that his door was unlocked, and I wanted to see if everything was okay. I'm sorry, but I need to keep that confidential. You'll need to ask the police about that. Information about the bomb and what I found in the dressing room. Can I ask who has access to Mr. Arlen's dressing room? Yes, I work for Today's Times. My name is Brenda Carlton. No, not at all. Maddie Jensen asked me to look into these threats against Rick since no one was taking them seriously. No, I'm just concerned about Rick's safety. Perhaps we can meet in person to discuss the case. Can you think of anyone on the staff who has skills in explosives or electronics? Do you believe someone from outside the studio could have done this? Is there video surveillance of the dressing room? Who, besides Rick, would have keys to his dressing room? Are there many people who have access to the studio at night? Who takes care of the teleprompter? Does the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Who else has access to the staff offices? Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pappas. Goodbye. Do you know anything about an employee named Owen Spader? Are there many temporary employees working at the studio? Is there anyone on the technical staff that would hold a grudge against Rick? Do you have surveillance video of the hallways, perhaps? That's odd. Has he always been this way? How many security people do you employ? Is it just Ralph? Can I have a list of everyone who's been in the studio at night? Is it possible for me to have the code for the talent entrance? Is Miss Strathorn the lead script writer? So then anyone has access to the teleprompter? Do you think I can see them sometime? Can I see them sometime? Can I see them? Are there many people who have access to the mixers? Hello, Mr. Pappas. This is Nancy Drew. I hate to bother you, but can I ask you a couple more questions? Thank you for your time. Can you answer some questions I have? I need to get something from Maddie from the prop room. Hi. How can I enter the prop room? Can I hear that riddle again? I give up. I don't know. Don't you mean Rick Arlen? And who is Yuri? Uh, forgive me. I haven't yet met Yuri. Who is he? Thank you. But how did you know about the wire cutters? <laughs> Thanks. It was nothing, really. Lillian's a fine director. Has she been with the company very long? Mr. Pappas sure yells a lot. I bet you can hear him all the way down here. Mr. Pappas sure yells a lot. I bet you can hear him all the way down here. Can you tell me about Dwayne Powers? I heard that Worldwide has an exclusive contract with him. It must be wonderful to work with Rick Arlen. Is he really that exciting in real life as he is on stage? I see you have a typewriter. You know, a computer would be much faster to work with. I bet if you tracked your props with a database on the computer, you'd be able to have more free time. I'd be happy to help. I just need to access a computer. Do you know where I can find Owen Spader? He's a stagehand, I believe. I should get back to the set. Goodbye! Well, for a guy who just barely escaped a terrible accident, you're in an incredibly good mood. Do you really think it was just an accident? Can you think of anyone with a motive to send you these death threats? Why haven't you gone to the police with these threats? Is it lucky to receive death threats and poison chocolates? I would think poison chocolates are far from a note d'amour. Okay? Truth. Uh, actually, I find those letters you've been getting irresistible. I just love a good mystery. Dare. Uh, River Heights? <laughs> well, you know how Maddie exaggerates. What's wrong with being concerned? I would think poison chocolates are a bit beyond wacky, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you can tell me if you've noticed any suspicious characters around your dressing room lately. Nah, I never watched that show. <laughs> Who does? Have you ever thought of hiring a bodyguard? I'm really not that young, Rick. Can I ask your advice? Dwayne Powers is my agent. He's pretty good, isn't he? Is that so bad? He represents Maddie. Didn't he represent you? So tell me, Rick, who haven't you dated on Light of Our Love? Oh, you've got quite a reputation on this set. Uh-huh. So you've never dated Lillian? Is that why Lillian is so bitter? Was this before or after you dated Maddie? So you've never dated Maddie? What about Lillian? So you've never dated Millie? What is the story with the prop master? Tell me, Rick. Do you know a guy by the name of Owen Spader? Rick, I found an unsent death threat with your signature on it. How do you think that got there? So, Rick, I need some spare vowels to paste into my scrapbook. Got any left over from your letter campaign? You tell me, Rick. 
You're the one who's been writing those letters to yourself. Next time you send yourself an anonymous letter, be sure you don't practice your signature on top of it. Why'd you do it? Listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Irresistible is not exactly the word I'd use to describe you, Rick. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course, I'll try to get her autograph for you. But this is a business trip. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now. Nancy. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is a friend of Aunt Eloise from New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, she called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now. Nancy, dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is a friend of Aunt Eloise from New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, she called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now. Nancy, dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is a friend of Aunt Eloise from New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, she called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now. Nancy. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course, I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is a friend of Aunt Eloise from New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, she called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now. Nancy, is there a pass here for Nancy Drew? The set's closed to visitors. I need a pass first. Lillian took my pass away. Taxi! Worldwide Broadcasting Studios. 1999 Broadway, please. It looks like Owen was on the set every time something happened to Rick. Hey, taxi! 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. 318 West 10th Street, please. On the west side. Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you. About the job as an extra? Dear Dad, I'm still in New York house-sitting for Maddie while she's on vacation. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. <laughs> well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy. Dear Dad, I'm still in New York, house-sitting for Maddie while she's on vacation. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. 
But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy. Dear Dad, I'm still in New York house-sitting for Maddie while she's on vacation. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot, well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy. It's locked. The cover is on too tight. I need something to clip the wires before it's too late. Hello? Jensen Residence? Who's speaking, please? I don't want to go there. The wheel is stuck. I can't read the instructions. The power's not on. There seems to be something written on it. That looks like Maddie's stationery. The typewriter drops its Y. I should set the clock. Hmm... Who should I call for help? I wonder what the combination is. I need to find this combination. I wonder what the code is. I need to find this code. I need to find the key for this. Do I want to go to sleep? Do I want to go to bed? Should I turn in? Should I call it a day? What a great morning for solving a mystery. What a great day to solve a mystery. Time to get back on the case. Think, Nancy. Think. I know I can solve this. May I ask who's calling? I just got caught breaking into the studio at night. They've confiscated my pass. I guess this takes me off the case permanently. Oh, I should have been more careful. Dwayne's in the right hands now. Case closed. Case closed. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Of course I'll try to get her autograph for you, but this is a business trip. Maddie is a friend of Aunt Eloise from New York, and after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, she called Aunt Eloise to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Bye for now, Nancy. I need to get into Lillian's office at night. I think there's more to her than meets the eye. Have you met the prop master at Worldwide? She seems rather strange. I'm afraid that I'm not making a very good impression on Lillian. She doesn't seem to like me very much. I should get back to the set. See you, George. Would you do that? That'd help me get past Lillian and hopefully to the bottom of these threats against Rick. Hello? No, don't! No! <coughs> no, don't! No! Dear Bess, another mystery solved. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy.